right then guys well we're having a monday bimble today uh, had a bit of a busy weekend and it was also very wet here on saturday so uh wanted to oh ambulance so um wanted to make sure that the roads were nice and dry before i come out i don't like riding in the wet i don't like riding on wet roads makes my bike all dirty um, but yeah perfect opportunity today to test out my new jacket which i'm sure you can see hopefully in the mirror there um, alpine stars leonis dry star air Uh, so it's uh, predominantly a mesh jacket um, it comes with uh, level 2 CE armour in the elbows and the shoulders and then just some horrible thin crappy foam in the back and the chest uh, but I've already upgraded the back to uh, the back protector in it is now the Alpine Stars I think it's called the KRC2 um, level 2 back protector real nice big thick slab of soft flexible rubber um, that really molds to the shape of your body quite nicely feels very lovely and protective and the chest pockets have now got um, the KRC1 uh, which is the uh, the level one split chest protector uh, again made out of the same stuff as the back protector but not quite so thick um, but yep yeah, it's uh, feels lovely in the front there very nice uh, so far I'm very happy with the jacket the breeze is blowing straight through it which is very nice Yep, got a lovely breeze over my arms and uh, all around my body and my armpits, which is very tasty. But of course, it's also got the armour in all the right places. Uh, plenty of adjustment down the sleeves, so I can really, really tighten the armour in nicely on my elbows and my arms. Um, yeah, it feels great. Very snug. Very cool. I think it looks good too. Um, <coughs> I specifically wanted a, uh, a light coloured jacket for summer to hopefully reflect a bit more of the heat. Um, I've always had black in the past but you know what the black tends to just suck the heat up. Hello? So yeah, I can now ride along happy at any temperature, uh, no matter what the uh, no matter how hot the sun gets, and I've got some tasty ventilation going on, some nice um, air conditioning. Lovely. I'm very happy with it. Uh, Price-wise, it was just shy of the 200 pound mark. I think it was about 180 quid, um, and then the back protector was another 30 quid, 35 quid, and the chest protectors. Um, 25 I think they were 25 or 28 so all in all it's under 250 pounds for the for the entire setup um, oh it also comes with a, a full waterproof liner as well I forgot to mention that um, a waterproof and windproof liner which obviously I don't have fitted at the moment but that should be perfect for um, for anybody who likes uh, testing their luck or taking a little bit of a risk and going out when it's sunny but might possibly shower you can always carry that with you and whip it on underneath quickly if it starts to rain um, but obviously with it being windproof it kind of negates the breezeability of the jacket if you have that on underneath but you will need it in the rain so swings and roundabouts really um, it also does have one fully waterproof internal pocket uh, so you can keep your wallet or your phone or something in there um, 
yeah, your phone, which is currently attached to the dash. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a very nice jacket. Really happy with it. Fits lovely. I did also try the Knox Zephyr, um, which is a similar sort of thing, but that one, uh, there's no sort of adjustment straps or anything on that one. It, it, um, it relies on fitting uh, quite body tight. And although it was a lovely jacket with, uh, you know, full CE2 armor in it and all this sort of stuff, uh, real nice piece of kit. But the problem with it I found was that it was just, it fitted perfectly in some areas, was a bit loose in other areas, and underneath my armpits, Jesus Christ, it felt like it was going to saw my arms off. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that, but um, yeah, no, no good for my armpits. And also I found that the shoulder armour, as soon as I put my arms forward into a bike riding position, um, the shoulder armour was digging in significantly over the top of my arms. which, you know, wasn't really very desirable. Uh, right on the top of my shoulders, it was, uh, it was proper digging in um, on the sort of the collarbone area. Well, which, you know, could be, could be uh, sorted out. You could adapt for that by, I suppose, cutting a little, a little piece out of the armour. But um, no, I decided it wasn't for me. Uh, plus the fact the colour is, yeah, you either go for the black um, or the sand, I think they call it sand and black, uh, the Knox Zephyr jacket that is, and in all honesty it's more NHS here in aid beige, um, so yeah, uh, you know, I could, had it been a perfect fitting jacket I would have put up with the colour, but uh, unfortunately it had too many downfalls for my liking. Uh, however this Alpine Stars is doing the job very nicely. Apparently some of my friends have been watching my videos and they've said that I put on a real posh accent lack like, when I'm talking like if when someone's talking posh on the telephone uh, when I'm doing my videos apparently uh, the, my Cornish twang don't come through see because I do talk a bit Cornish apparently when I was at work uh, it all goes a bit like that because uh, I spent about 30 years of my life living in turnip country um, getting a track right plowing the fields and they're uh, eating pasties. Handsome. Proper job, pretty. So, um, yeah, apparently I don't do that very much when I'm doing videos. I've been told I go all posh. I 
you don't know what that's about, to be fair. I'm not sure quite how my accent comes across. Um, Essexy Cornish, I would expect. But you see, now I'm talking about it, the Cornish is going to come through anyhow, so... <laughs> What are shookies? Hello? They've all been shorn, look. They've all been shaved in. Hair-cutted sheeps. Oh, you need a scratch. Oh, man. That must feel good. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. Ah, there we go. Done. Meh.